Right, let's find some way of attaching that. Let's get the cupboards in, which I'm now measuring up to see see how I can do that. Wouldn't it be nice to have a CNC machine? <laughs> Slap it in, press a button, away it goes. This is a nice straight cut. As long as this bit is straight, that is. First bit of carpet up. Right, got a couple of little jobs on the go at the moment. Um, first of all, I have been putting these little side pieces in there. Get some light in there. On that side, on that side. Just to kind of fill that... Uh, Fill that gap there so when you use a shelf things don't disappear over the side and down that little little piece there um, yeah so I've just cut some pieces to go in there uh, and also just been put some bits of wood along there for when I do the the front piece that's going to go on there to hide all that lot and I have actually boxed in that piece there squared that corner off I think that is much better like that so we'll do the same with the other end there um, and that will also hide up these all these holes that are in there and that that bulkhead is fixed on I'll sort that out and also been working on a bulkhead here um, which is going to go I'll see this side of the bed bed frame I want to kind of separate off the bed area as much as possible without it um, without this area feeling too enclosed so now I've got that all Sort of cut in along there which I didn't actually make a template for that I, I actually did just measure it all calculate it and measure it there's a we'll see we've got one angle up as far as that piece there and then there's another angle up to there and then there's another angle to there and then the roof line which I didn't get quite right I kind of cut a bit too much out there but that'll be okay um, yeah, once that's uh, covered in carpet, you won't notice that. And the other thing is, I also want to cut a piece in so it isn't straight up there. I want to cut a little sort of shape into it um, on this side. So I've just marked out on here. A little show up pencil. So we've got a curve, curve, and then straight up there so that isn't quite so deep um, and to just give it a bit of shape really um, yeah so bed rail I can put this down um, yeah so the, the bed top of the bed is going to be sort of that sort of height so then land for thickness of the mattress that curvy bit would be just above the mattress I think <laughs> depends how thick the mattress is I suppose but yeah it's going to be somewhere around there anyway so that will just give that a little bit of a, bit of a shape so that'll be the next bit is to um, to try and cut those curves in there as best I can and then I can uh, attach the whole thing, fix it in. Um, this piece of wood is actually one of the uprights. So I've got to put an upright on there. And that will also give me sort of halfway across there. Somewhere to attach my next piece, however far I come across, which I'm not sure yet. Um, I won't really know until the kitchen goes in, until I start building the kitchen cabinet. Um, 
as my fridge it's going to slide in and out here somewhere so whatever space is left this side will be for storage um, and probably probably have a socket a power point there either there or, or down the bottom here not sure as yet but yeah somewhere in this area there'll be a, a power point yeah so we'll now get that piece cut and I can actually fix this rail in this, this one here um, fix the board to it I won't put the top rail in yet although I have actually cut it I won't put that in yet permanently um, because it's just going to be in the way of me trying to work here um, if I get me uprights in that can just go in when I'm ready to do the bed yeah so sort of coming along uh, yeah doing a few little odd bits and pieces that I can still got to make that door <laughs> yet for there <laughs> so uh, yeah that's not urgent that can be done anytime really um, oh and the other thing is I did this bit um, this is actually one of the old LED lights which um, which was in the van I just fitted that up there um, it's actually the connection there for it because of what I want to do rather than just having this LED strip light I've got here this um, which has been dropped so many times that's now that bottom element is now starting to go um, I think it's probably a crack on the circuit board or something yeah so I want to get some extra lighting in here um, hence the battery box there ready to fit once I've got this bit in I'm then going to see if I can just get a temporary 12 volt connection so I can just run a couple of lights in here because um, I just have to keep moving this around <laughs> this this light here that is a good nice bright light that's just a bit of a pain I have to keep um, moving it around like you can see every time I tap that that bottom one get it in a certain angle that will actually that will actually go out yeah yeah so cut that that's that cut I think that is probably about right uh, not fixed it there yet it's still just resting there get this light around here yeah I think that will do so just got to figure out how to fix it in there now <laughs> well, bottom will be easy you can just screw it to the uh, those uprights well I've got to fix that upright in as yet but yeah I'm just better screw it to them and then once the cross piece goes in there I should better fix it to that as well so just need to attach it up there probably just some battens or something I think um that's about all I can do I think with that to fix that in there um yeah I think that will do all right just kind of divides that area off a little bit without being too uh sort of too in your face um also maybe I use that as an end piece or attachment point for my upper units that I've got to go across there yeah so once this is fixed I can then get on and start making those right let's find some way of attaching that well that's better a bit brighter in here now got a couple of couple of lights just uh, jerry rigged up straight off the battery um, yeah that's much better that is um, yeah well there's that um, 
that piece in you can probably see it a bit better now <laughs> a bit brighter <laughs> Yeah, so just got a couple of screws there, one screw there, little batten up the top, and this piece down here is just glued and pinned to the inside of the reveal that was there, and I just run some glue down there. That should be um, enough to hold that, I think, especially once the um, Let's get the cupboards in, which I'm now measuring up to see see how I can do that. So that's going to sort of be the front edge, really, about there. So that is um, let's be drawn. Just going to be one four seven wide, twenty seven deep at the front, high rather, um, twenty three mil deep. Which don't sound a lot, but actually, yeah, 23. Yeah, which this side will be somewhere around that height, so that'll be just in from that edge. Which I think looks all right. Yeah, so I now need to lay that bit board out, get that marked up, and then cut that, cut the face board. Um, what have I got here? I've got some nine or some six for the door. Um, and some 12 so might actually have a, probably got enough to do it all in nine mil actually nine mil and then with some battens on the inside that should be plenty strong enough i think yeah i think that's what we'll do there all right i'll get cutting I'm starting marking out this board. This is actually the inside, the back side of it that you won't see. Um, so to get, I want these rounded corners. So I'm going to have to use a hole saw. Um, but I need to use the jigsaw this side, but the hole saw from the other side. Uh, so you'll get. Um, hopefully neater holes so those ones I've done and that one I actually did the wrong way around <laughs> to get slightly cleaner hole drilling from this side so what I'll do is mark in all the way around where my cut edge is gonna end up and just put a pilot hole through flip it over and then do my hole saw from this side and I can do my jigsaw from the other side. Wouldn't it be nice to have a CNC machine? <laughs> Slap it in, press a button, away it goes. Yeah. Right. Let's do another little bit. Here's the first one cut out. A little bit of trimming to do there. Or oh. Just getting with a bit of sandpaper probably, be right. Same with that one. Not quite lined up. Uh, I think once that's painted or uh yeah, still not sure whether I paint or um carpet them. See how they look. I think if they look good enough to paint, probably paint them. If they're a little bit rough probably end up carpeting uh, yeah just two more to do
So I'm just using this here as a gauge just to line up this with where the saw blade goes on the um, on the jigsaw. So I can just use that as a, a guideline. Decided whether they just leave them open or fit doors. I might just put it up open. I can always fit doors at a later later date. Uh, yeah, so just got to tidy that up. A little bit of sandpaper around that, and then figure out how to fit the <laughs> fit the base piece, which is down there. Fit them two together, a bit of batten. Yeah, got to cut an end piece for that end. For up here. Um, yeah, oh, and the batten across the top as well. Yeah. I think that'll work okay. That's where we are so far with this. I'm now starting to do these internal dividing bits. This bit's here. Um, but I'm not going to glue them in just yet. I'm going to screw them first to make sure that will still go up. Because obviously these are notched out here and there. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to wriggle that over those um, uh, those battens. So I'm just going to screw it, make sure it fits, and then I'll glue it. And if it doesn't, I'll have to fit this up first, and then put those in afterwards. But I can have the holes ready, ready to go. But yeah, that is coming along. Uh, yeah, I just use this end one as a pattern for my dividers. Um, yeah, they're not a terribly tight fit, but um, they'll be okay. Uh, I don't really have to be tight fit. Don't even really need to be that shape. You know, you could just do a straight across, just to stop things going from one section to the next section. That's all. Uh, yeah. And then once that is done, what I need to do is paint this first, paint the whole unit, uh, carpet this section, or up to the ceiling anyway, yeah, carpet that little bit first, because uh, I won't be able to <laughs> carpet in there very easily once, once this is up. So yeah, and then that bit can be done separately down there, that section. But yeah. So let's do a bit more. 
Oh, actually, the only bit that stops that going on is this corner here. So I think, as I'd rather paint this all in one go, I think I'll just nip that corner off. And uh, hopefully that will then just push up. Um, yeah, and I'll do the same with the next one. That will certainly be better to paint it all in. I need to paint the inside as well. Um, yeah, now I can do my, I can seal around a little bit better, put some filler in. Where these gaps are here. I'm cut a bit too much out. Um, yeah, I think that'll be okay. First bit of carpet up. Uh, yeah, so that's to go behind this cupboard, which I've now painted. Uh, that's a sort of, I don't know, really pale grey, that's what you'd call it. Um, and that, rather than going with your standard sort of grey colour that everyone goes with, that is a sort of purpley, what's well, actually called heather. It's a sort of purpley, light purpley colour. I thought that might be a little bit different. I don't know how well that colour comes across on the camera, but that's what it is. I've now fitted a USB charging port here. I can get the thingy off it. A little cover. Charging port there. And I've put in this sort of clip bit, I suppose you'd call it. A little bit of uh, 6 mil ply. So you can just tuck your phone in there when it's being charged and that'll just hold it hold it nice and tight so hopefully I've measured this in the <laughs> correctly in the right place to sit between here and here which I should now find out because I'm now going to fit that in place and uh, get an idea of how it's going to look yeah right There we are. First piece of kind of finished <laughs> furniture storage in there. Um, may put doors on either end, leave the middle one open, not quite sure. Uh, um, yeah, I think that looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> 